How's it going guys? Artemox here and today I'm bringing you a Vi game. Vi? Why did I pick Vi here? Good question because the only reason why I picked Vi here is because I saw a Twitch, a Yone, and a Camille. So I needed to pick a champion who would technically DPS and technically would be able to lock one of them down if one of them down becomes an issue. And the first champion I thought about was Vi. I was like, okay, you know, if I pick Vi, if either of those people become a threat, I'm going to be able to deal with them. So that was my thought process into picking Vi this game. And at the end of the day, you know, it worked out, obviously. Uh, this was my first game in a bit. And this is Lower Elo. I made a couple, you know, early game mistakes, which were a little bit, um, how do you say that? Weird and took a lot of tempo off me. I feel like in this game, in the higher elo, I should not have been able to play that game anymore after those two mistakes, but in the lower elos, it doesn't really matter. And this is why I'm basically uploading this video so that you guys can see that even in lower elos, you're still gonna be able to have a chance to come back even if you messed up your early game. And not just that, it's just gonna be all about that efficiency and all about those concepts that you can make happen so that you can actually win your games, right? You can scale out and basically kill everyone as you want to because not not because you started 0-2 means that you're gonna be 0-2 and then you're gonna do horrible as long as you can keep up into the game and come back you're gonna be more than fine so yeah right here i went to top lane she was overextending you know the the, the nar didn't follow me up very nicely so uh we just ended up we just didn't end up doing anything right there so it's kind of sad for me now i'm just running i see everybody moving so I'm just going to run away. I'm going to start doing my, my Krugs. I'm level 3. Ivern is level 4. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Since this is lower elo, this is not something I'm expecting. This Ivern was playing like a retard. I was half HP. I was actually, you know, uh, getting outplayed by this guy. But then again, my whole team is going to be able to pick up the kill. But that is not something that should have happened. And again, that just came off from me understanding that Ivern is useless. And I'm going to be able to fight him either way. But then he surprised me with a lot of damage for some reason. You know, he was on this push, he has his shield, he blew up his shield that was slowed and everything, so. But then again, that is something that I'm not expecting. So that's maybe why I decided to fight him there. That was a little bit of a non-knowledge. And again, since I ganked top lane, they knew my positioning and yeah. So right here, I'm going to see if I can find something. They kind of want to go over me, but then there's nothing that we're going to be able to do. Right here, I'm seeing if there's anything, you know, anything else, but then I'm just straight up you know not doing much i'm just wasting time over here i want to check out her ra his raptors i know that he's kind of low i should, definitely should have waited instead of actually starting the raptors immediately uh, i want to try to kill him he flashes away but then yona is here and then i just straight up die these are the two mistakes that i made during the early game which could have cost me uh the whole game because at the end of the day if you were smart enough you would have been able to counter jungle me at least on one side you would have known I, on the side that I was going to be on because if I find no farm here and there's no position to do on bot lane then I should be top side 100% and then just track me off that and basically just get me out of the game but since this is lower elos they technically don't know what they're doing he ended up back and notice guys even if I've died twice I'm 35 CS over Iron's 23 so as you can already see it's it's a little bit difficult for him to keep up with my efficiency even though I'm not being efficient at all and this is the main thing about lower elos right you know people tend to think but you know ivern is doing okay he's controlling you know he's not controlling me yeah he's you know doing a couple plays that are countering me let's just say right but at the end of the day i'm still able to do whatever it is that i want so i'm actually very happy with it i'm still have all my space and notice how the advantage keeps growing because he's being, he's you know he's still wasting time and i'm not and that's what's going to make a big difference between this game where I started out like an idiot, but then ended up being a hero. So right here, we're going to be able to kill the Camille. Since I know that they're all bottom, as you guys can see, you know, Ivern is bottom, wasting his time trying to force something to happen. I'm just going to go ahead and grab up that Camille kill. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the Herald. Camille wants to go ahead and kill the Nar, which is a little bit greedy on her part. I slow her so that she doesn't grab up the Nar, and then we're able to kill her again. Now, I kind of know that Yone is coming, but I'm not going to be too worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and take one uh, plate. I see the Lux coming, and it's like, okay, I just need to bait the Yone out in a way that, you know, I go with Lux. Lux lands the stun, and then she's doomed. So after that, I should have definitely pushed that wave, but I, I thought that I was going to lose timing on the Herald because maybe Ivern backed already. So I just wanted to do the Herald immediately, 
and throw it somewhere because at the end of the day I'm doing this for the platings and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up take it and right here I'm immediately gonna go ahead and take the, the push the wave and then throw the herald Ivern and Yone come in so it's like okay and then Yone decides to commit to me and it's like okay a little bit unlucky you know thank you Soraka for the healing that actually saved me and I'm gonna back so something to notice guys this Samira was spinging and flaming the whole game because she thought that she knew how to play the game and she thought that she could do something obviously she has a soraka on her lane so she needs to understand that she needs to be a little bit more passive there's no way that she can play aggressively with that champion especially when you have a soraka against a twitch nautilus and you can clearly see it here she's 83 cs versus 41 she's double cs on samira but, uh, on twitch but she's still dying she's not making use of her advantage and look at look at her pings she got ganked she started getting mad and at that point i started music muting her pings because i don't care Really, I don't care. And you're going to see why I don't care about these type of things uh, later on. Because at the end of the day, it's all about those little jungle concepts, right? And I'm even going to show you a couple of examples where people is like, Oh my god, but what if I'm bottom and then my whole team is fighting top lane? You're going to be able to see. Because the main thing here is that Samira, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Samira, I think Samira died here trying to contest the dragon. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, notice how I am topside. I decided to go topside. I decided to give away this dragon because I feel like it's no use for me uh, to risk it anymore. I don't feel like the bot lane or the mid lane are, you know. And maybe it's just a personal opinion of not wanting to fight this. But then they still want to force it. One, two, three, four people versus two people. And they immediately think that they have to contest it. Well, I'm topside. These people have literally zero awareness. And they would say, okay, but then you should be topside. And yes, I mean bot side. And yes, I could definitely be there. I'm actually very, very strong. I could definitely fight that off. But at the end of the day, I decided not to. Because one, this is not higher elo. The main thing here is that I want to show you guys that the thing is uh, that you don't really need to be contesting everything. As long as you keep efficient, as long as you make the things that you need to make, happen you're gonna be more than fine as long as you're efficient as long as you can climb up into the game and keep up a huge power curve you're gonna be able to snowball out of control and this is basically why i upload these videos i don't really want to fight this dragon just to show you guys that i don't really need that dragon i can't even give away the second i could give away the second herald i don't really care as long as i'm making sure that i'm doing the things that i'm supposed to do you know being efficient uh understanding my champion planes and situations playing for objectives you're going to be able to see how easy the game turns out so right here obviously this is something that clearly happens every single time um i don't really understand why notice how they just finished up dragon so this lux needs to know that everybody's going to come around this area but for some reason she doesn't and then she starts going top side and then it's like okay you know you see that everybody is chasing you towards the top side you see the nautilus and then since you know that they're all transitioning towards the top side this nar needs to know that everybody's coming up here but then for some reason they're just going to start running away and i'm pinging here i'm pinging and then they start fighting and it's like bro there's four people there and these people are not aware of that you see that this is just basically basic minimum awareness you know and these are the type of things that people don't really understand people don't really see it's like oh but then maybe they thought okay they won't keep chasing me yes they will they will keep keep chasing you but then at the end of the day you know as you can see here um i maybe to kill yune because of how strong i'm you know i'm becoming just through my own decisions which is gonna help me get the dragon that gets the next dragon get the next herald and that's gonna start snowballing my gameplay and that's what you're looking for when you're playing lower elos when people tell you carry yourself out this is what it means sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice things you're gonna sacrifice dragons you're gonna sacrifice heralds you're gonna sacrifice fights so that you can actually make stuff happen as long as people understand that your you know your gameplay it's you know related to that and they don't even have to understand it as long as you can put in the effort to actually make stuff happen for example right here i see the yone notice how everything i'm doing you know it's working out why because i'm making the decisions that i want to make and they're working out because i understand my champion i understand what i want to do you know being efficient get strong start playing for objectives right here boom i kill yone i get the first tower these are the type of things that are going to actually make you snowball into the game right here i see everybody bot side okay you know don't mind if i do go there and we just kill everyone because at the end of the day it's all about that i'm just gonna go ahead and fight the nautilus first so that he doesn't kill my whole teammates 
and then after that i'm gonna go into twitch boom thank you very much twitch and then after that i'm just gonna go ahead and see if there's anything else i can do but as you guys can see i have 3.6k gold in my inventory so with that amount of gold i don't really want to do much i one shot the iron over there and that and that's it i don't really want to do more and it's like okay you know i have one uh, 4k gold in my inventory i don't really need to do anything else i'm just gonna go ahead and back obviously i could have fought that but i didn't really want to do it as i said so i'm just gonna start building towards my stuff obviously my builds are a little bit more aggressive so that i can start snowballing dragon is coming up and it's not that i'm interested on in that dragon either i'm not interested on in that herald either so at the end of the day i'm just gonna do the things that i feel that will give me uh, more things right you know again 15 minutes i need to start playing for objectives i need to start doing stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the dragon and because i'm doing dragon they're gonna go towards herald but i am bot side i could definitely rotate top side to try to get that herald but i don't really want to i'd rather go for the tier two bottom and again this is a bad decision this is a bad decision why because if you go ahead and take the herald that herald's gonna give you at least two towers in the position that the game is in but me deciding to go for tier two bottom and you know making a bad decision still can show you how even if it's a bad decision as long as you're pressuring the map and making you know sure that you're playing for objectives you're still going to be able to thrive it's not as simple as oh but you need to fight for the herald if this was diamond plus is this if this was diamond three diamond two even diamond one masters of course i'm gonna go for the herald because that's the play that i should go for but because i'm lower elos here guys you need to understand that these are not the things that you need to be focusing on lower elos is fundamentals and higher elos yeah it's decision making but you know as you can see I i'm making flawed decision making i'm giving away dragons i'm giving away heralds i'm giving away stuff but i'm still able to snowball the game and this is basically what we're looking for this is what i'm looking for with this type of videos it's not as oh i have to jungle track oh I have to do all of these things oh i have to i don't know uh, i have to set a vision i have to focus on all these meaningless things that you don't have to focus right now as long as you know you focus on your fundamentals once you start getting diamond then that's when we start focusing very aggressively on these things obviously the habit needs to be built early and i agree with that completely but at the end of the day you know if you really want to climb if you really want to learn fast this is the way to do it as long as you get your fundamentals done then you're going to be able to just do whatever it is that you want to do afterwards because now because i'm this strong because i'm just huge in this game i'm going to be able to do whatever i want now i can set up vision now i can set up barons i can set up dragons there's nothing that they're going to be able to do anymore because of how strong i got just because i was you know efficient i was making sure that i was pressuring the map i was taking waves i was pushing towers i got three towers if it wasn't for me all the towers that are down in this game would not have been down and that's the main thing these people don't really know how to play for objective look they're about to team fight in the mid lane and i'm here taking tier two and i don't really care i don't need to join that fight because that fight has no purpose to me and again oh you guys want to keep fighting i'm gonna go ahead and keep you know going for the tier three bottom i mean top lane oh you what guys want to keep going you know i'm gonna get the inhib because at the end of the day what i'm doing has purpose what they're doing doesn't what they what they want to do just force a fight and then uh be able to to throw the herald okay perfect but notice how now my play was better or ended up being better now we're gonna be able to counter them and we got I got two towers plus an inhib while they got nothing out of a fight that they just wanted to make. All my team had to do was just back off. And this is what I mean when I tell you, okay, play for objectives, start putting pressure on the map. Because if you do all these things, this is the result that you're going to be able to make. And notice how I'm level 14. I am 202 CS at 23 minutes. Notice how, not, notice how strong I am, right? And this is what I'm looking for. In the lower elos... As long as you, can, as you can focus on fundamentals, you know, pushing waves, playing for objectives, being efficient, you're going to be more than fine. Trust me, guys. This is the things that you really need in order for you to start carrying yourself out of your elos. And notice how strong I am that I can just one-shot the Twitch. In a 1v4 setup, I'm going to be able to kill the Yone. I'm going to be able to kill the Nautilus. I could have definitely gone for the uh, Ivern, but as we've already known... That has no purpose. I've already killed everyone. I don't really need to go for that kill. So let me just go ahead and take the tower. And then after that, keep going because everybody's still dead. And now I can get this kill because it would it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for me to kill the tower if Ivern is there bothering me. I thought that Camille for a reason could have killed me. 
And now that everybody spawned, you know, I should have backed off. I definitely wanted to back off, but then for some reason my mouse slipped and it made me go backwards in terms of uh, the of the queue. That's why I died there. I should not have died there 100%. It was just as simple as backing off because you've already got everything that you wanted to get. And then after that, just one more play and that's it. And that's basically the game, guys. So yeah, that was the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys want me to play next. And as always, you know, if you like this type of content, please leave a like and subscribe. Share with your friends, you know. Let's see if we can... Uh, and if these videos are useful, right? If they're not, then all right. <laughs> so yeah, um, stay healthy, drink lots of water, and have fun on the rift, guys. See you in the next video. I'll leave you with the rest of it, the video.